time now for our new series called Take Out, Fake Out, where we can recreate some of the most popular to-go meals from the top food delivery apps. And celebrity chef Richard Blaze is here to show us how to do it. Yes. Thank you for coming here, man. We really how appreciate you? it. Yes. But you know what? Let's bring out the first delivery. Here we go. Okay. Wow, look at that. Here we go. Yes. All right. Thank you. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh. What do we have? Pad Thai chicken. Pad Thai. Oh. All right. Come right. on over. Let's do it. So Pad Thai chicken is one of the most popular dishes, according to these apps that are, that is ordered. So how do we make it at home where it is as delicious but a little bit healthier? Well, first of all, Michael, uh, this is a dream for me. I get to make pad thai with you. This is a bucket list item I, for I me. I dreamed so about this myself, too. There, there yeah. you go. I'm excited. Um, pad thai is really, really popular, one of the most popular items, and this is a way that you can make it at home. It's super simple to make. Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing wrong with takeout, but you can do it at home. Uh, and we're going to start over here. What you want is a really hot pan, right? A okay. wok would even be fine. A little bit of vegetables. Yeah. A blazing hot a pan. A blazing crap. hot pan. Um, and then what's great about this dish is it's really, really quick to make. Um, you some do this garlic. all the time. Let yeah, me do this because I'm like the person Yeah, a little garlic. Yeah. Go for it. Garlic, chilies, jalapeno. Nice. All that in there, yeah. Right? A little bit of green onions. And you can okay. really start smelling that right now. Smelling good. Uh, we're going to add some bean sprouts to it, okay. right? That's going to give it a nice texture, a little bit of vegetable note. One of my favorite sort of healthy tips, instead of just uh, sort of table sugar, a little bit of coconut sugar. Oh, yeah. Break, Break that, that up. Break that up in there. Now, what, what a little bit of tamarind. Tamarind. Uh, yeah. Okay, a little bit of tamarind. So tamarind is got this sort of sweet sour thing going on. If you don't have tamarind at home, I like to sub out a little bit of powdered iced tea mix. Oh, really? Which is insane, but it sort of reminds me the sour flavor powdered of tamarind. Okay. Uh, that's, does that smell delicious that or what? Incredible. All right, a little bit of fish sauce. Okay. A little bit yeah. of fish sauce. Fish sauce. Now, fish sauce is sort of like a salt substitute. To be honest with you, you bury some fish bones for a couple years, and that's how they make fish sauce. But it gives it this sort of, yes, but it gives it this nuance of flavor. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of vinegar, and this smells like pad thai. We're going to add some tofu. Now, okay. I have to, do you like tofu? Let's just throw it in there. Okay, we're going <laughs> to. <laughs> the reason I ask that is that I'm not a massive tofu fan either, yeah. but I love it in pad thai, and it's a great protein substitute. Um, we're going to add a little bit of eggs that okay. were just scrambled. You could have scrambled them in the pan as well. Break that up. All right. And now, we're, of course, we're going to have to dump in our rice noodles, right? So this dish yeah. was sort of... Uh, invented when there was actually sort of a shortage of rice in Thailand. Yeah, so they really? would make noodles out of the, the powder of what rice they had. And so mix that together. You're going to toss that, Michael, or what? Are you, yes, you're going to go for the big toss? Oh, the big toss? Yeah, okay. Go for the big toss. Okay, go for it. Yeah! Yeah! Okay! All right. We're going to add a little bit more peanuts. Right, we're going to mix that up a little bit more of the yep. sprouts, some onions. Um, and then Why are you still, still laughing at my okay. toss? That wasn't bad. Right. Are you ready for the plating now? We're ready. We're going to get over here. You, you got it? I'll yes, go, go ahead for the plating. Yeah, I think we'll get it right, right on this plate right here. Bam, look All at that. Right. Yeah. And then I love adding a little bit of, uh, a little bit of crunch, some of these sort of store-bought crispy onions. I like that too. Which are very personal to me. And then my favorite, if you like it hot, do you like spicy food? Not, not particularly. Okay, I love yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> You like I it. love spicy food. You like it hot. So, okay. Yeah, so just straight white vinegar with some jalapenos. Oh, man. And you can just make a mason jar of this, put it in the fridge, and then this becomes an awesome condiment to serve with your pad thai. Okay. You squeeze some lime over there. I like the lime. And you're done. Okay. And how much cheaper yeah. is it to make it like this instead of going to a restaurant? I mean, pretty you cheap. Saw, I mean, the good thing about it is it's sort of a dump and stir, right? Yeah. You get all the ingredients out, and most of them you can just buy prepared. It takes a couple minutes, So it's right? a little cheaper than okay. ordering it out on the app. But then next we have orange chicken. Orange right? chicken, my yeah. favorite. Okay. Yes, one of my one favorites. Mine too. All right. And here... Here, what we're doing, uh, Mike, you're going to dump this stuff over here. We're going to make our sauce for orange chicken first. Really, really easy. Ooh, yeah, a little vinegar, vinegar, a little orange juice. Okay. All right. Yes. Uh, a little bit of soy, soy, sesame, and then everything that's in that container, which is orange rind because it's orange chicken. Yep. Uh, a little bit of ginger. Uh, we'll add a little bit of salt oh, in that here. that smells good. Doesn't it smell yeah. good already? And then here's a fun tip. Now, if you buy this for takeout, it's usually fried, but I love this sort of at-home 
uh, tip to sort of make a, 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 a non-fried baked chicken. So we take our chicken, we, met, we, we sort of roll it around in some mayonnaise, which is something I personally like to do with myself as well every once in a while. <laughs> and you um, know what, if, you're, if, you, if you want, you, do, you can get a nice facial from all the skin. Yeah, that's too. right. All right. <laughs> My pores are open. We, we, we roll the chicken in mayonnaise. Okay. We coat it in some breadcrumbs, right? So again, mayonnaise, breadcrumbs, and then we'll we put, pop it in the oven and we have these little baked, awesome Instead pieces of, of fried, chicken. Instead of fried, baked, which is healthier, yeah. Baked. Then we're gonna just go right to our sauce. Right? Right to our sauce, that's gonna coat it. And then we're gonna add some broccoli. broccoli. Listen, if you're like an athlete like yourself, maybe you just do broccoli. Maybe just you just do broccoli, do broccoli. but you can also throw do this, Yeah, throw the scallions in there. Uh, we're gonna finish it up with a little bit of sesame and some chili flakes. Some chili flakes for you. And that's like, like there we go. Less than five minutes. That's less. Two dishes that you take out. You're the man, Richard. Man, that, that was a blazing hot segment right there. Today, this is more inspired by the food delivery app Postmates. And you can get these recipes on our website, goodmorningamerica.com. And tomorrow, Chef Alec Garnicelli is here with her take on our favorite Mexican takeout dishes. Thank you, Richard. You can check out Richard's his podcast, Starving for Attention. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.